Hello, this is Blake Murphy again with another ACES Biology Review. So this is going to be your exam review three. So this is going to be helpful for exam three or also for your exam four final. So just another disclosure. This is going to be more of a supplemental material and things that I would review and things that I, I'm pretty sure will be on the test and have been on the test in the past for sure. So without further ado, let's hop right in. So, your first thing you're going to go over here is viruses and bacteria. You're going to want to know the bacteria prokaryotes, and then you're going to want to know about archaea, which are similar to bacteria. And then you're going to, get, going to know the basics of viruses. So, they're not alive, but they do have genetic material, so that's going to be RNA or DNA. And then they're going to have that protein coat, which is going to be kind of enveloped by some lipids as well. So, you're going to want to go into a lot more detail with that, for sure, but you're going to want to review bacteria, archaea, and viruses, and what they're made of, and what they are. You're going to also want to review fungi and protists. So fungi are going to be kind of uh, eukaryotic type things. You're going to want to review their functions, specifically their use of spores and how they reproduce. So that, that is a question that I would highly expect to be on an exam, and I know will be probably exam three material, but may or may not be on exam four. Uh, protists are going to have plant-like and animal-like. Um, algae in particular is going to be something you cover. I would definitely review algae, how much of it there is, how important it is, that sort of thing. Um, and maybe know the difference between plant-like. Like, so plant-likes are going to have your flagella, they're going to be your single-celled uh, little guys that kind of float around in water and stuff like that. And your plant-like is going to be more of your algae and stuff like that. So just know the difference between those and know the characteristics. Uh, plants are going to have three basic parts, really. So you're going to have roots and then shoots, but shoots are going to have the three basic parts, right? So then you're going to have the stems, leaves, and reproduction that you're going to want to cover from the shoot aspect, so to speak, right? So you've got your roots here, you've got your stem, you've got your leaves, and then once it starts, it'll have a reproduction sort of thing as well. It might be pollen, it might be... Um, either a gynosperm or an angiosperm, right? So you're going to want to know the difference between these reproduction types for sure. These are definitely common on certain tests, particularly exam three, but also exam four. I would not be surprised if they had a question over gynosperms or angiosperm. Mostly it's just going to be like specific examples of that, right? So you're going to want to know what constitutes a gynosperm and what constitutes an angiosperm. Uh, animals, animal development, you're going to want to know the characteristics of animals. For example, move, they have movement uh, and they are heterotrophs. So heterotrophs mean that they are eating stuff for their energy. You're also going to want to know some of the things that make, that diversify animals and what they are divided by. So like body symmetry, jointed appendages, and germ layers, that sort of stuff. Right, so that's going to be stuff you want to cover for sure from those two lectures. Um, circular circulatory systems, you're going to have two types, right? So you're going to have open and you're going to have closed. We have closed circulatory systems. All of our blood is enclosed within arteries and veins, but insects are what's called an open system. So their blood sort of bathes their organs, right? Instead of just passes by it or passes through it. So it's a very different thing. You're going to want to review that. I would definitely recommend if you're confused on anything, coming up to ACEs and getting some advice uh, or having that further explained because that is a little bit of a new idea for some people. But this is kind of like a proto version of that, so like an older version of the closed circulatory system. So definitely review both of those. Respiration, right? So every... Creature, every animal does this. Uh, many creatures do this besides animals as well, but um, this is when we take in oxygen and it's done in humans through alveoli. Um, it's also through diffusion or gills, depending on the creature. And just a little note on respiration, you're going to want to remember that O2 is needed for cellular respiration, which is why we take in that oxygen, right? So that's just a little bit of review before exam three. So 
yeah, feel free to come up to ACES if you have any questions, or if you're in the summer course, give, shoot me an email through Kansas. For, through Canvas. Thank you. Bye.